Hi, AD. Welcome, welcome. This is my apartment. Come on in. Hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elise. I'm a full-time marketing manager based in Toronto. On this channel, I like to share fashion, sustainability, and moments in my life. Today, I want to give an updated apartment tour. If you haven't checked out my two other videos, uh, I made those quite a few months ago. And now my space is at a point where I feel like I've maximized every square inch. There's quite a few updates, so I wanted to make this video in the style of the AD home tours, which I'm sure you've all seen. So I moved into this apartment in October of 2021. The building was made in 2020, so it's about a three-year-old building right in downtown Toronto. It is about 300 square feet, so a really small micro studio. It really feels like home now, especially when I travel. I'm so excited to come back into the space, into my own space. I want to show you around. This is my entryway, if you can even call it that. Uh, this is the front door. I saw in someone's home tour that they wallpapered their door and I absolutely love that. It is a animal print with tigers and peacocks. My brother is the year of the tiger, so a little homage to him. It took me forever to line it out properly, but I think it was well worth the effort. Some other necessities right by the front is this little rack where I can hang all of my purses, my keys, my wallet, things that I need to grab and go right before I head out. On the other side of my door, I have this really cute puddle, like organic shaped mirror that I can you know, check myself out in before I head out, make sure the makeup looks good. Really love this mirror. I also put on this cute little sticker that says, damn, you look good. This shoe case I put up right against the kitchen island. It really blends into one. No one seems to notice it at all when they first come to my place until I explicitly tell them that this is where I keep my shoes. It's right by the front door so that I don't track any dirt into my space. This is an Asian household, so slippers. And up on top, I just have some of my jewelry, some sunglasses, perfume that I want to grab before I head out. Right next to the front door is my closet. So all of my clothes are in here. It's really made me think about which articles of clothing I actually wear and not be excessive in my wardrobe and my spending when it comes to clothes because everything needs to fit into this space. I've tried to organize it as much as I can where all the fashion magic happens in here. Another thing I install that I really love are these cute light switch covers something a little fun to a piece of my home that I touch every single day. Right behind me, this is my full length mirror and this is where I take all of my mirror selfies. Really love it, opens up the space, bounces light from around the room. Underneath the mirror, I have this cute little cabinet situation denim that I like to keep there as well as some journals and notebooks that I like to keep by the bedside. I have a dream journal, I have my five minute journal, I have a phone charger. I would argue the only not so aesthetic part in my place is this right here. This jumble of a mess of cords that I have because I need a bunch of things plugged in. So a bit of an eyesore, but I just try not to look at it. All right. Now we're in my living room. This is my couch. This couch is actually a Murphy bed. This came with the place when I bought it when I moved in. The place came fully furnished and this is the only piece of furniture I kept. And I'm so glad I did. A Murphy bed is not something I thought I would be living with. That was not part of my dream apartment situation. But because the place is so small, during the day this is my couch and at night 
I can just flip the bed over top and it's a really great space saver. I'm not someone who likes to eat in bed, work in bed. You'll see throughout the apartment, I like to incorporate color wherever I can. So here I have a really fun pink throw pillow. I painted this little cabinet yellow. When I was putting this space together, it was really important to me that every corner of the apartment had a function, but also be really aesthetic and make me really happy when I look at all the stuff I have. So uh, I was very intentional in designing this space and putting it together, and I really had to decide critically which space was going to have a mirror, which space was going to be my desk, which space was going to bring something to my everyday life that was functional and useful. This is the bed situation I was talking about. White box is essentially where my bed lives and there's a little pull thing that I can pull this bed down. The height of my coffee table was really important because I wanted to be able to keep it underneath my bed when it flips over. It couldn't be higher than my bed. And this clear coffee table was exactly what I wanted. Having a clear coffee table just really keeps my space open. Doesn't feel like there's this big furniture piece like right smack in the middle of my walking space. Having it glass really keeps the space feel bigger. This rug, I really love this like geometric abstract design. I love the colors. I think I mentioned in my other videos, but if you have a small space, having prints and patterns that are oversized rather than like really small um, repeating patterns will make your space feel bigger. So the fact that this has this big like orange blob, these big um, white lines, actually helps make the space feel bigger than it is. Yeah, love this rug. Love this rug, couch, coffee table area. And this is actually where I eat. I will just lean up against the couch, I sit on the floor, on the rug, and I'll just put my laptop here, and this is where I have um, all of my meals. The most exciting thing, I think, in my apartment, it's definitely the most expensive, and that is my projector setup. When I moved in, I spent a lot of time thinking about where a TV could go. I definitely did not have space to have a TV permanently put somewhere. If I were to get a TV, I'd either need to get it on like one of those rolly stands or it would need to attach to a wall and swing out. But once I moved into my space, I realized neither of those options really work. A projector is really the only way to go if I wanted to see something on a screen bigger than my laptop. So I decided to invest in a projector and I'm so, so happy I did that because Every single night is like a movie night. I have the screen behind me. It comes down from the ceiling. I save this projector setup for when I'm in bed so I don't have it down all day or else I would get no work done. It just feels so cozy. I'm so happy that I finally can watch shows and movies on a screen bigger than my laptop, which is what I was doing for really the majority of my life before moving in here. I never had my own TV in my room. I never had a TV when I lived in college. This just feels like such a level up now that I am fully an adult. Absolutely love this projector. If you're interested in getting a projector set up, it's really not that much more expensive than getting a nice TV. Only thing to consider is the installation cost. Especially if you have like a full blank wall, you don't even need to get a screen. You can just project it right onto the blank wall. I love, love, love this setup. Definitely my most like impressive feature in my space whenever I have friends coming over. Right next to my bed on the other side is my desk setup. So I work from home. I'm so happy that I work remote. 
You cannot get me into an office Monday to Friday ever, ever again. I began my career journey during COVID. I graduated university in 2020. In terms of my full-time career, I really only worked remotely. So my desk setup is really important to me. This is where I spend most of my days, Monday to Friday. I'm so happy with the way it looks. I have my monitor and my laptop connected there. It's a stand-up desk. I put up cute little shelves on top that also fits perfectly in the space. I have something nice to look at when I am working at my desk. I also have a hanging plant right above. A lot of the plants in my space are fake. Um, I. It turns out I don't have a green thumb. When I first moved into the space, pretty much all of the plants were real plants and one by one they died. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I got the easiest plants to take care of but they most of them have not made it so I've replaced them with fake plants just to give me that same feel and aesthetic. Fake plants are okay with me. I've made peace with it and it still all looks really nice and gives me that nature and greenery vibe that I really crave living in downtown Toronto. In the summer, when the weather gets nicer like it is right now, I will come outside to my balcony setup. I love it. Also got a white couch that perfectly fits into this corner. My balcony is a weird shape. It's a very long, long, narrow triangle. I have a little C-shaped table that I can bring my laptop, bring my food. Days like today when the weather is perfect, I love being out here. I love being outside while being inside and this is just everything I wanted. Having a balcony for my space was definitely a nice to have but I am so glad I have it. The other thing I've installed for my balcony is this. A fold up table. For work, I have this little laptop stand, so I'll bring my laptop out here and take meetings out here or just do work out here. Whenever my balcony setup is made, it truly makes me feel like summer is here, and summer is definitely finally here in Toronto. The other thing I love about my space is, of course, this view. I have a full wall that is all window. I'm obsessed with this view. It's always been a dream of mine to live in the heart of the city. I'm very much a, you know, a city girl. I'm just so happy and grateful to be able to afford this space, to be able to live here, to have a setup that I can truly call my own, call my home. A weird thing that I do, I always keep my balcony door a little bit cracked. All throughout summer, I'll have that window wide open. I mean, there's a mesh screen door so no bugs can come in. Fresh air and feeling the wind from outside is really important and not just breathe the air that's circulated throughout the building. It makes me feel a bit trapped in a weird way, so very important to me to have fresh air all the time. Here we have the kitchen island, whether it's packages, my purse, whenever I come home and I have things in my hands, I will dump it onto this counter. I try to keep it quite clean and quite clear of clutter. It houses a few things that I really love. I have a humidifier that's really helped a lot through the Toronto winter. It's super dry. I also have a essential oil suffuser. I love scenting my home to my mood every single morning. So I use this all the time. Also here, one of the few real plants I have is this Monstera plant. I love it. It brings life right into the center of my space. I look at it every day. And on the other side of my wall is my kitchen. I spend a lot of time in this kitchen. I try to cook Monday to Friday. I do my best to not eat out on Uber Eats. I only have two stove heads, which I thought would be an issue when I first moved in, but honestly, cooking for one, I don't really ever need more than two stove tops. Some random things in my kitchen. 
I have uh, a couple wine bottles, a prime energy drink, <laughs> which is all the rage apparently with Gen Z's and I got a bunch of these for my brother when he came to visit. I also have Alexa set up right here. I finally bit the bullet and got myself this moth tufted rug. I love it. It's so soft. I stand on it when I'm washing dishes, when I'm cooking. If this is your aesthetic, love it. Totally worth it. This I like to call my little coffee and tea corner. I have my hot water here. I have all of my teas here. I make coffee here. I made one earlier today. I'm going to take a sip. I love these shelves that I installed, or I didn't install them. Any installation, I got a TaskRabbit person to come and do it. I've hired the same TaskRabbit person like five or six times, and every time he comes, I joke with him, like, you know exactly the stage of my apartment because anytime something new comes in, you're the one who puts them up. <laughs> so I have these fun, like, monarch butterflies. I have this really cute rainbow. I think it's supposed to be a planter, but I, I put my tea in there. And this is just a really calm space. I have this bust of myself because one of my good friends, he owns a 3D printing company. He 3D scanned my face and then put me onto one of these like Greek busts. And it's so funny. I love it. Outside my bathroom door, I have these hanging hooks. This is where I put all of my extra tote bags and bigger bags that I don't want to keep by the front, which, I mean, I don't really use them, but I tell myself I will use them, so I keep them here. <laughs> On the inside of my bathroom door is my laundry bag, and luckily it has a lot of storage on the inside. I have these fun frames, and I have this one photo in here that I actually got in Europe. I can't remember where I got it, maybe London or Paris. I still need to find something to put in this one, so that is still TBD. My bathroom is a pretty good size. I became friends with my neighbors, so I've been to their apartment. The bathroom is essentially the same size, it's just the rest of the space is obviously much, much smaller. I spend a lot of time in the bathroom. I'm one of those girls that I really like to pamper myself and all of the self-care and getting ready all happens in my bathroom. I'm glad I have a space in the bathroom to do all the things I need. And that's my apartment. Thank you so much for coming over and taking a tour. I hope to see you soon. Until next time. Bye!